what is going on sheep army this is your boy random marks coming with a quick video and on this video guys we're gonna be talking about src 20 token guys kind of give you guys a quick breakdown of it i did a lot of talking about brc 20 tokens on this channel so i actually have a whole dedicated library for that if you guys want to check it out some of the stuff majority of the stuff um actually could be converted over to sr20 um just got to flip it from bitcoin to using it um as for shibarium so so before i dive too deeply into it let me just get the announcement out the way so got some exciting news as far as for Shib uh, shibarium rocks community or shiba rocks so on mantra the first 10 sales um on, because this is just to be able to celebrate as far as like being 100% minted out. So the first 10 sales, 100% of the royalties is going to go towards buying bone and burning bone. So hopefully we'll be able to see 10 sales as far as on the open uh, market. So that way we could get these burns started because this is one of the reasons why I wanted to have these rocks as well too, is to be able to burn more bone. So without further ado guys and if you have not subscribed yet to the channel make sure you hit that subscribe button leave a like do your part help your boy out and that will spread this content out to more people so when it comes to sr20 uh tokens as of right now that's the only thing that's a part of it um there is a whole other side to it as well and i think um well i don't think they mentioned it already that uh more is coming so these transactions that we're seeing at 7.8 million uh transaction is actually just going to keep increasing and some people think like oh you know when it comes to sr20 uh token they just think it's just you know that's the token itself when in fact sr20 to uh sr20 token is just the protocol uh protocol i can't even speak tonight um and these are all the different tokens that are available the one that have the highest mint right now is sheeb then once this finished minting out uh minting out you're gonna get more people probably going to bone and etc etc so that's typically how the nature of things go especially when um brc20 was popping off the first one to to start popping off as far as when it comes to minting was already already and already right now is killing it especially for a free mint and if you don't believe me this is just the the inscription how this thing popped off you know it first was introduced like late january and inscription was like super low the next thing you know it just started popping off it have dips you know Yes, it is going to have dips here and there, but majority of the time you're seeing increase in inscription as meaning increasing in volume. So the volume that we're seeing right now on Shibarium, I believe it is going to increase even further once they have all the other aspects and elements to it. Um, so some people like it because it means more burn. You know, right now we're 2000 uh with two thousand dollars away from reaching two hundred thousand dollars as far as for a burn and i know people in the community especially for the people that are pro burn uh may have never stepped a foot on shabarium before but they're off of the burn uh they're loving it um but on the flip side the people that are actively on shabarium may not like it because again that's mean more transaction if you take a look at this block it was ten dollars this one was twelve dollars. So, block in itself, as well as transaction in itself, those are increasing because what used to cost us point four zero, you know, one bone is now costing us like point zero one bone. So, which would be equivalent to, um, you know, close to about like three cents, four cents um, per transaction. So. Now, if we just look, take a step back and look at it from the grand scheme of things, you know, the cost of it is still a lot lower, especially if we're comparing it to BNB as well as Ethereum, um, like the fees in itself is lower. But these are some of the stuff that people are, and I'm starting to see debates um, happening, you know, with both sides of the, uh, the coin. 
and I'll let you guys know at the end how I feel about it. Um, what's my take on all of this? Well, I guess I can tell you now. Um, my take on it, guys. If we just take, if we look beyond just the fees and the burns, it is actually gonna be something very, very massive. Uh, for crypto in general. And again, I'm going to be able to explain to you guys in this video. So make sure you stay all the way to the end. And I can already tell this may be a long video, but taking a quick look, guys, you know, if we take a quick look at just the good that it done so far, and I, and I promise I'm, I'm getting somewhere, guys. If we take a look at just what it, the good that is done for Bone as well as the community in itself is that we're seeing more and more people more and more holders starting to pop up when i did my video earlier this morning we we're like at in the low 9300 uh 93000s now we're close you know closely approaching 94000 uh, new holders not only that guys i'm seeing more and more people start to bridge over this was at 2.2.7 uh, million as far as a uh, bone token that was on the layer two. And now we're even seeing more and more deposits from the ERC 20. And this is our people are bridging over more bone because transaction is high. Um, it could be that, or people want to get in, you know, the ecosystem now finally be able to just say, Hey, let me stop uh, pussyfooting around and let me join the Shibaria movement. Now that they're seeing more and more burns. So, these are the stuff that generally helps the overall community and overall, you know, because in one aspect, we can't say, hey, we want to see adoption and the other side would be like, nah, transaction is too high because eventually it was going to happen either way. As more and more people flooded into the Shibarium ecosystem, then that would have caused the, you know, the price of transactions to go a lot higher. So now we're just seeing a lot faster, but this is the positive that's happening behind it. So now, since I already made a video again, this video is like two months ago and I have in this, this is the library dating back maybe around like six, six to eight months ago, talking about BRC 20 and, um, and you can browse through it just to be able to get even more, uh, comprehensive depth, um, of it to be able to understand SR 20. But I'm just going to focus in on just the, you know, the base level stuff of it, of why myself, because someone asked, uh, you know, I got in, you know, I bought or I minted or I, or I inscribed uh, my SR20 token, but I don't really know, you know, how this thing is going to go up in value or how I'm going to be able to make money. Um, I just heard you talk about it and I'm like, yep, bet, let me just go ahead and do it. So this is really going to be able to break it down for it. And I'm also going to talk about like the future use of it and how this could be a big thing for Shibarium globally. So let me play this video of uh, me talking about it. And I do have it sped up so that we could just get to the point because um, I do notice I do talk a little slow. So the reason why I'm bullish guys on BRC 20 is because of this right here because of these doodles. Now you may not, you know, for first glance, you might say, hey, this is this doodles, you know, pretty ugly, but I'm gonna break it down to you guys so that way you can understand. So if we take a look at fiat, how much it takes to actually reach a dollar, you need a hundred pennies just to be able to make one dollar guys. So that's how it is with fiat. But when it comes to Bitcoin, you need a hundred million sats or shito, uh, sat, I was about to say shitosi. Uh, uh, <laughs> uh, you need a hundred million sats to be able to make one Bitcoin. Now, the great thing about it, this can fluctuate in price guys, as it stands right now, one sat is valued at 0.30265. So again, that could go up, that could go down, but it fluctuates based upon the price of Bitcoin. So as it stands right now. All right, I know it's going pretty fast, so I just at least wanted you guys to understand this part. So when it comes to um, uh, Satoshi units, I can't even speak, but oh well. Um, 100 million makes one Bitcoin. So this is how we're able to be able to know, you know, how much one, uh, how much this thing is worth. So that's the first thing that you have to understand, like 100 million of these would equal out to one Bitcoin. So let's continue. Now, Bitcoin is at 26,500 and all you're doing just dividing this by 100 million and that'll give you your, your stats uh, total. Now, imagine. When 
when I said you're dividing this. So at the time, Bitcoin was at twenty six thousand uh, five hundred. So you're dividing the twenty six thousand five hundred. In our case now, Bitcoins were at forty four thousand. So you would do forty four thousand as of right now. And I'm just gonna, you know, kind of just go along with this video. Forty four thousand divided by the hundred million uh, Shitoshi unit. Like you said, Shitoshi satoshi units but once you do that this gives you how much it is per individual individual uh, stat all right so let's continue in this everybody in their mama think bitcoin is going to 100k so if that's the case guys then the price of the you know how much one stats is it's, it's gonna go up so 100k bitcoin and you divide it by 100 million that gets you 0 0.001 stats guys 0 0.001 that is a huge increase in itself and this is what it's going to do. that down for you on the brc20 token because they are valued based upon stats like right now as it stands with uh, with bone it's valued like one bone coin is valued at uh, 1.39 stats 1.39 stats like that's how much one of these costs let me get back to the doodle uh -uh. get to my doodle so it's this is valued at one point go back to 1.39 so 1.39 make up one stats for that so hopefully you guys are still following me so if i invest right now 18 dollars and 48 cents and I know that, you know, one of these right here is 1.39 and Bitcoin gets 100K. And I'm going to show you the math, the simple math behind it. And this is what really blew my mind, guys. So if it's 1.39 and the future value of how much one is, you're just going to multiply it by 0 0.001 because that's how that's the value of it. And then how much of this bone did I have? That's 50,000. My little $18 investment, guys, would be worth $69.50. That is a 6X by simply doing nothing, doing absolutely nothing. Some might say, oh, random arts, I mean, a 6X, I mean, eh, there's other cryptos out there that you could actually do a 6X with, with no problem, and you don't have to go through all this hassle, blah, 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 blah. 6X, guys, I'm looking at the minimum. That's actually the minimum if Bitcoin gets to 100K. This is not including if the value of bone in itself starts to go up. Kind of like how you see, because this doesn't have to stay stationary. This could actually, this could actually start going up. Now, just to be clear, in this example, this is all related to BRC20 token. So when I mention bone, this is not bone that we have. This is BRC20. When I say it's going up, I'm referring to the stats uh, version of it. So notice how this is 1.39, then this is 1.396, 1.49. So as that part starts to go up, because the way that it goes up is by individual people buying it at a higher price. So kind of like how we're seeing this on, you know, people are just coming in and minting. Once everyone have their token, this is fully minted out. Then you could actually uh, determine at what price you want to sell your allotted amount. You know, you could maybe do a hundred and say, hey, I want to sell this for X amount of stats. Then somebody else may say, nah, I'd rather sell it for a higher amount. So this is what causes the price of it to go up because it's almost like thinking think of it like almost like as the floor of an nft um and really that is just the first value of it you know again is data um that is stored onto the blockchain now the the unique part about it because when it comes to bitcoin and there's the scarcity of how much you could actually inscribe onto bitcoin now, there's other me methods as far as to re-inscribe and all this and that. So we're not even talking about that. But right now, we know that Bitcoin, as far as total total uh, amount, is going to be 
million guys 21 million bitcoin so we know that one bitcoin equals up to a hundred million uh you know 100 million stats so we do the 21 million times 100 million then this is the amount of inscriptions that could be done on bitcoin network so this is why it's going to become very very scarce in the future and this is why the value of it because we're getting all these different inscriptions like kind of like how i showed you guys uh on here you know these are just taken away from this number because once it's gone it's gone unless some people allow like re reinscription and stuff like that um and again that's just a whole separate thing but as of right now though if we just keep things at just the base level then you kind of see like over time ordinals in itself or brc20s they're going to go up in value um just based upon simple supply demand because you have this huge demand coming in and it is going to continue to keep going or people are going to try to you know save important data or whatever type of data into it because remember same thing with this you could not only can you do uh tokens i mean as of right now on shibarium the only thing you could do is tokens but they're going to come out with uh uh games movies uh files like you name it anything that you could uh pretty much put onto the blockchain you're going to be able to do that as well and that's going to take away from the amount that's available now the thing is and this is where you know and this is where things actually just gets pretty pretty interesting um and like i was saying before in this video um two months ago like i was my whole plan was to just buy as much as i can because i see like the value of it of this uh going up so and that i did so this is just the the first part of you know src20 tokens um and right now i'm just giving you the example of brc20 tokens and how things could translate the same way so already at the time of me making the video it was sitting right around three dollars and of course i'm you know i'm buying and i'm thinking it's gonna get you know i had enough time for it to keep going lower so that way i could really put some heavy money into it unfortunately i ain't putting nothing you know no big size to it um but nonetheless this thing skyrockets you know from three all the way you know with the high of what 60 something and now it's having a pullback um same thing for stats i was minting the and the, all of these were free mints kind of like how we're seeing right now over here free mints you know at the time they didn't know what the value of it was going to be and this is why people you know people are quick to call something junk but really i don't i don't think anything is junk because with junk you could create anything with it and i'm and i promise you guys i'm still getting somewhere i just got to get this part out the way but you know buying it over here now it's at 56 bucks huge gain same thing for stats i was minting it during the free mint you know i roughly spent 60 bucks and now my 60 bucks guys is worth 700 something bucks right now crazy and i'm not selling it because i know during the bull market the you know after the halving things are just going to get even more crazier especially when bitcoin now people are saying they think bitcoin might reach 500k so if it reach 500k these ordinals or these uh brc20 tokens that's you know that's uh pretty much pegged to the uh to the stats they're gonna be worth a lot more so yeah so i'm not selling so same thing for this i think i spent 20 bucks as far as minting and it's currently valued close to like 500 bucks now uh same thing for this one maybe spent 20 30 bucks and that's what i was saying like uh, around that time like don't break the bank because these are have huge gain and you don't really need to try to go balls to the walls and you know trying to spend money i mean hindsight is 2020 if i did that it would have paid off really greatly but my 20 30 investment for this one uh close to like 600 bucks 
Um, this one I really messed up on because I thought this was going to get even lower. Um, so I was waiting for it. But track, same thing with that is, you know, from 22 cents, now it reached a high of $6. So huge gains on all of this. And I believe the same thing is going to happen for this as well. Why do I think it is? Because Bone, I'm a true believer in Bone, and I think Bone is going to do well long term. So if Bone start having that parabolic move on the way up, then it's going to automatically drag this up with it. Well, it's just simple as that. And the ones that typically do the well is the ones that surrounded by a community. So as well as uh, known names. So this is just from the trend that I've seen as far as with Bitcoin. So this is why we're seeing Sheeb having a huge minting. And this is why I started minting that. So I think Wolf is going to do pretty well as well. Because Wolf, I want to say it represent, um, and I haven't verified this completely, but I want to say um it is yeah it is represented wolf swap so hence why i'm starting my minting process on that as well too so now this is just from the base layer of things from a degen uh, standpoint as far as like okay why am i minting sr20 token now from a more global side of things guys this is where the this actually gets interesting because remember I said when it comes to uh, ordinals or minting or inscribing onto the blockchain, these are all da uh, data that's being stored. And as of right now, the, one of the biggest issues that's currently plaguing crypto is these uh, uh, bridge hacks. So a bridge hack or or um, it's typically whenever a bridge, you know, or well, let me first explain to you. So whenever it, let's say if you wanted to take your sheep to base, if that was a cap uh, capability to go to base. So what you would simply do, you'll take your sheep, you'll transfer it over to the bridge where it'll be locked away over here. And now on the other side, you would get some new sheep that is compatible for uh, base layer two but your original one is left onto the blockchain. So what someone would do, hackers, they typically try to target um, bridges to be able to do exploits, to be able to take that out. And then what they'll do is just sell it on the open market, which would essentially make the price of sheep go down. So this is common. I think just this year alone, um, as far as for bridge hacks or exploits, well over a billion dollars guys well over a billion dollars that's happening so with inscription and um and with you know with the ordinals with uh src uh src 20 token this could actually alleviate this guys and the way that it can and this is with the uh, recursive uh recursive um inscription and what that simply mean is you could have data stored onto this chain. You could have data stored onto this chain, right? So with that data stored onto this chain, you could actually have a game being programmed over here or be being able to be playable over here. So you play the game here, but it's pulling data from this chain. And it could happen with so many different chain. And this is how we could actually have one of those. Uh, we could have a connecting chain with where all the chains are able to, to be able to communicate with each other. Because when you inscribe, you're putting it onto the chain. And this would actually be able to put Shibarium in the forefront. Because remember when I was telling you guys as far as um, how much inscription that's available for um uh on bitcoin well with shibarium the inscription of how much it is is a lot higher because i think it's uh it's about 17 zeros three six nine twelve fifteen looks like i can't get any more but it'll be somewhere around like 180 trillion multiply that by 200 um 250 
uh million since that's the supply of uh of bone and that would be the amount of inscription that could be allowed onto um shibaria now as more tokens get burnt um then that inscription amount would actually just be lower but you kind of get my gist but that means we could store so many data on shibarium and allow other chains to be able to use it which is the great part about it but then we'll you know and and this is definitely gonna take time because we're gonna we're gonna need uh a universal index that's gonna be able to index um and what an indexer is it just pretty much uh be able to read the data and be able to uh bring it over to the chain uh of of choice but this is currently in the works right now and this would be a huge feat for shibarium to be able to do that especially like i mentioned um with the bridge hack so let's say if you want you had assets over here you want to bring it over here you'll just send it directly to the indexer and the indexer would be able to sort it out and have it over to the other chain whether it's base polygon bitcoin like whatever it is and it'll just make it a universal thing which in my opinion guys this would be beyond uh a good thing as far as for shibarium because now we're talking about transactions and we're talking about workload um and being the universal chain where we're getting past just the minting of the tokens we're talking about like movies uh people if they want to watch movies that's stored on chain um and the other chain want to use it there's so many different aspects and so many it opens the door for so many different avenues of where we could potentially go with this so now this is probably like the longest video that i made so hopefully all of this was easy to understand guys and if you guys have questions you know you can always hit me up in the comment section now definitely want to say big shout out to uh evm uh dot inc because they're the one who are is leading this chart um as far as trying to get a universal index to be able to link up different um different chains from polygon bnb ethereum um it's definitely still in the work uh they're working behind the scene to be able to do that and and i think this is going to be a very very a promising thing as far as like for the future if we could get on board as far as uh where this thing is heading now last thing i do want to say like when they say this uh and big shout out to uh wolf swap because they said uh this they're they're trying to get 10 million guys 10 million users to join shibarium and how are they going to be able to do that this by doing that guys by doing what i just described oops by doing what um what i just described here as far as like create a universal index and it's all starting with uh with inscription guys so let me know in the comment down below because to me this is huge 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 opportunity for shibarium to be one of the leading blockchain or layer two uh, whatever you want to call it in this space so that's all I really have for you tonight, guys. This is Random Mark signing off. Hopefully, again, this is understandable, easy to digest. Um, I know I sound a little monotone because it is extremely late, and I said I was going to make this video, so here you guys go. Um, so leave a like, leave a comment, share this with uh, somebody. But this is Random Mark's guy signing off. Parts.